Copious amounts. Cuatro, episode four. Yo, right now is so special. I got my family with me, like my real family, not just my family. This is actually my real family, my related family in the house tonight. DC legend, don't y'all, don't move, don't move, don't move. We doing salmon. I got some shrimps over here. I got some rum punch. It's the Jamaican West Indian, you know what I'm saying? Wagwan episode, don't move, copious amount, episode four, starting right now. Yo G, drop that beat. Welcome back, Copious Amounts, episode four. So right now, it's about that time. It's that episode where we gotta incorporate what we love, you know what I'm saying? You see it, what we love, you know what I'm saying? What do we love? Scrimps, you know what I'm saying? We got the shrimps on deck right now. Yo, we gonna do some curry shrimp right now with the mango. Pineapple, honey, yogurt, drizzle. I got these puppies on ice. I know last episode I talked about cooking, you know what I'm saying, the cold burger on the hot. No, this is this seafood, fresh seafood. You gotta keep it on ice. You know what I'm saying? If Juicy J was here, he'd be proud of what I'm doing right now because this shit's on ice. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this shrimp in a bowl and we're gonna get it ready to go. So, I just fresh shrimp. I picked it up today, before I got home. Kissed my girl, kissed my dogs, and guess what I did? I started butterflying shrimp, I started peeling them, getting all the guts out of them. You want fresh shrimp, you don't serve nobody no shrimp with no ish in it. You wanna make sure you got, you know, good shrimp. I cook for you, I cook for your family, I cook for your mama and them, and I make sure I put my heart into it. I'm cooking for my family today, so I'm putting my heart into it, all right? So, we got these shrimp. What we gonna do, is we gonna boost the flavor, all right? We gonna boost the flavor. If we got any like accents, like some Patois accents, like drop it right now, like a Funk Flex bomb. You know what I'm saying? Like Wagwan, you know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. Fresh shrimp going in a pizza oven, forget about it curry powder. If you smell this, you know what that country crock tub smell like. It ain't butter in that joint. It's leftover curry chicken. You know what that yellow Tupperware had in it before it went in the dishwasher because when it came out the dishwasher, it still, it still looked like this. It's yellow, like me. Oh, uh, curry powder, blau. Let's get it on there, okay? Boom, ginger, sweet ginger. Use vinegar to help tighten up your ginger. Some will get it. Some allspice. Bang, allspice. Right on top of there. What else we gonna do? You ready? A Little bit of salt. Season that real nice. All right, and crushed red pepper. You know I love crushed red pepper. Why? Cause I just do. It is what it is. Gives that nice little kick. Some olive oil. All right. Now, we got these. We just wanna toss them. Excuse me. I'm burping already and I ain't even start eating yet. It's okay though. It's okay though, cause I got family in the house tonight and I'm gonna make sure family's here. Add a little bit more curry powder cause it's curry, baby. Come on. We want to make sure it's nice and seasoned and it's going to be flavorful. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to bring our pan over. Throw some oil on there. I already put it on there because I wanted it to sit a little bit. Now, I'm going to take these beautiful shrimp. I'm just going to lay them out on a sheet pan just like this. Like I said, I already deveined them. I already butterflied them. 
they're ready to go. Nice, beautiful. Curry, shrimp. And if you didn't realize, let's take it back to the beginning. Welcome to Copious Amounts, episode one. Boom, boom, boom. This is what it is. And we're gonna take some more curry. And we're gonna drizzle it right on top of there, all right? Because we want that flavor to stand out. You see my towel? I ain't been using it about 30 seconds. It's already curried up, it's flavored up. And what we're gonna do is take this shrimp, make sure everything's even, ready to go. We're gonna throw it right in the oven and it ain't gonna take long. While we throw it in there, we'll start our sauce for this. Don't move. Curry shrimp going in the oven right now. Boom. Right to the middle. Squeeze it right in there. Get my trusty sidekick. Scoot on on to the back. I'm just gonna let her sit there. While she's sitting there, we're gonna make a beautiful, beautiful, delicious sauce, all right? We're gonna take our time with this sauce. We wanna make a nice sauce because I got my family in the house tonight. I want them to enjoy. So what we'll do, take a little bit of yogurt, all right? Two tablespoons, boom, just like that. Some vinegar. White wine, vinegar, we're gonna sprinkle. Sprinkle right in there. Now, some agave nectar, bling. About that much, all right? What else? Fresh pineapple. It's the Wagwan episode. What is it without pineapple? It, it ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Boom, pineapples in here. All right? Now, let's get to the important part of all this, all right? I'm gonna get some lime. You know what I'm saying? Rub a lime on your shoulder, not an apple. It's the Wagwan episode. Fresh lime juice, just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make somewhat of an aioli, but we're not using mayonnaise. We're using fresh ingredients. We're using yogurt. We're using lime. We got pineapple, a little bit of honey. I mean, it's gonna be so, so good. Guess what else we're gonna use? Some curry, baby. Come on now. Come on now. Where's Grab Love at? He'd be so proud of me. All right, here we are. Now, we got some olive oil in here. As we got this olive oil, we gonna start to whisk this up, okay? We gonna whisk this up and make a nice, beautiful sauce that's gonna complement these shrimp that are sitting in the back of the oven right now, just hanging out. Just gonna keep mixing this, all right? While we're mixing that, we can get our onion ready. Nice red onion. We want some brightness, some contrast, some fresh flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add half of this to the actual sauce and we'll garnish it with the other half once it's done. So here, we'll add that to the sauce. And you know what? Onion fell in the yogurt, which is a sign that, let's put some more yogurt in there. Let's give it a nice little body. And now, not only do we have the onion and the pineapple, we got the contrast. We got some sweet, we got some probiotics and the yogurt. We got stuff that when you wake up, you're gonna feel good about what you're doing. And you see the shrimp in the oven and you're feeling good about life. It's the feel good about life episode. Maybe we call it the one love episode. Call it whatever you want. This is copious amounts, episode four. Let's go. We got our shrimp in here. I hear them, they're sounding real, real good. We'll get our sauce here. We'll get our plates ready. Because guess what? Before I bring in a special guest, 
I like to feed them. I like to have a little appetizer, all right? It's nothing wrong with having a little appetizer when your guests show up. You know, that, that means you care. If you just come to somebody's house and they say, all right, sit down, let's have dinner, that's cool. But somebody who says, hey, have a little hors d'oeuvre, have a little appetizer, a little cocktail, those are the people you want in your life because they care about you. They want to make sure that you're being taken care of at every single step of the way. So, we're going to check on our shrimp real quick. We're gonna let our shrimp sit there for one more second. One more second, all right? And while we do that, we'll tray up a couple plates because what y'all don't know is, yes, my guests, they do enjoy the food. They come through and they have a good time and they're like, copious amounts, great time, food was great, da 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 da. But the one dude who really enjoys the food is Gadget. He's behind the scenes, Skype Williams. You don't really get to see him, but every time we cut, He's out here crushing something. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing? And he's like, yo, we need to set for the next scene. No, he's in the corner chewing down chicken wings and stuff like that. So I ain't mad. I'll probably be doing the same thing. But I'm going to pull this shrimp out the oven, all right? We're going to get busy. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Copious Amounts. My name is Al Green. Right now to my right, we have my, you know, co-co-host, Curry Shrimp. She brought all her lady friends. Hi, how y'all doing? Good to see y'all. I'm glad y'all came in a party. Um, they real young, they, you know, they not over 30, but they old enough. You know what I'm saying? Curry Shrimp, walk one episode, what's up? All right, so while these cool off, I want to give a special introduction. This introduction is so special, I wrote it like Cannabis did in his rap battle because I wanted to make sure that I had it right, okay? Here we go. From learning how to DJ from his father, he began seriously learning how to spin at the age of 12 years old. At 19, he would be the youngest DJ on the radio at 19. The youngest DJ on the radio. Think about that, all right? From rocking clubs in DC to spending for President Obama, not only at the DC, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, the Democratic National Convention, but also for his fundraiser and also venues across the world, okay? Across the world. This is a kid from Hyattsville whose seven uncles all DJed in the 80s. And his father said, yo, let me show you how to DJ. Really real, I'm not reading this part, all right? I'm almost ready to ball it up, but I'm not going to because there's some real good stuff in here, all right? Work with major artists. When you think about an artist like Wale, Wale went and saw this dude out and said, hey, who is this dude? I need to rap with him because he's got a vibe. Guess what he did? He was a DJ. He ended up managing Wale for like a year under Wale's label. Amazing, all right? Now, from that, he's worked with Biz Marquee. They share a super special relationship. Sometimes I get to hear stories that I'm not allowed to repeat, but it's amazing to me because one, this is a, not a close friend of mine. This is my relative. This is my cousin, my real cousin, my related cousin we grew up together from the sandbox all facts now not saying this because this is my cousin I'm saying this because he's recognized as one of the greats he's a legend across the world but he is our hometown hero ladies and gentlemen coming up to copious amounts he's about to make his way the legendary DJ Alizé on his way Welcome to Copious Amounts. It's your man, Alizé, with my cousin, Al Green. You already know. They call him Cambridge, but I call him Alex. It's what good. up? What up? Bling. <laughs> <laughs> we here, man. I, I gave him the intro, 
Nah, man. I gave Come him the on, intro. Man. Copious amounts. Yo, if you Where got food at? if you got beat up in Cherry Hill around 1988, it, it was wasn't probably me. it was probably him. It wasn't me. <laughs> you see me out in the street, it's all love. Back it's then, all I love. crazy though. Don't get it twisted. It's all love. Yo, brother, thank you for being here. I can't wait. Copious amounts. I'm so honored to have my brother here, my cousin, my family. Um, we gonna get him eating, cause I know he's hungry. Cause we come from that family where we like to participate and you know, pre-activities to make sure the hunger level is on a hunter. True or false? Well, true. He disappearing on me. No, no, I'm over here looking at, <laughs> over here looking at the spread. You know what I mean? All right, so look, yo, this is what I did, all right? Uh, nice little yogurt, red onion, pineapple, just gluttonous beauty right here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't want all of it, I just kinda want the sauce, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take that sauce, and I'm gonna just spread it around, just like that, on all these plates, okay? And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of it after. But what I want you to do is two things. One, come to my right, come over here, and what you can do is you can start grabbing some of these shrimp, and you just start. No, no, you grab it with your hands, baby. We family, you know what I mean? And just set them right in here. I'm gonna show you how you know we kind of want it done. All right. So you just pick them up, and we just take a few and you can just sit them right there in the middle, just like that, all right? And, you know what I'm saying, the hands of Zeus is here. Oh yeah, come on, there's one thing I, this feels like I'm on like a DJ set too, so. Does it feel good? No, I mean, it's like, it's like you got stuff where you want it, so. No, all right. Me, now I gotta get up on a DJ set and just. Let's go, and move it where you want it to go. At the end of the day, it's not gonna be a bad plate, because we cook with love. So, boom, we'll get in here, we'll get some of these beautiful scrimps, and we'll just keep setting them and say like that. That was perfect. Leave it yeah. just like that, yeah. And then what you do is just take another one, and one you like, and put it right on top. So like, same thing with this one. I'll put that one right on top. Yeah. Boom, there it is. There it is. Whoa. There it is. Mm. There it is. <laughs> Still my family. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of this. We're gonna pour it right on top, just like that. All right, here you go. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna cut open a lemon. Look at that, boom. Alizé is in the place, y'all. He's with me, he's cooking. So, I do wanna ask you a couple questions, but I'm not gonna ask yet. Let's, let's, let's finish plating up, you put that right back there. All right, this is a little secret I taught in the last episode, if you go like this, right? All right, and what happens is, once the lemon goes on there, yeah. all you gotta do is give a small squeeze, and then boom, see how it runs down a knife just like that? Wow, go ahead and go that. for it. Uh, you wanna know the truth? Yeah. The hibachi and Largo. Wow, look at that. Come on. Not doing <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we good. You throw that right in there? Where? Right there, don't matter. Alizé, it's your house. Yeah, it's man. copious amounts of love. You know Primo's man, we're here. here. Man, we here, man. It's the Wagwan episode. Listen, he really got me chefing, so I'm All right, you go. ready, you ready? So. We got what? Fresh mango, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna just take some of these mango and boom. I'm gonna put them there. Nothing and then, like mango. And then while that's happening, I'm gonna take some of these red onions. And this is what you call plate presentation, all right? Yeah, sure. So now you can hit those two plates. Bling, blow, blow, bling. Yo, I gotta say, Alizé has one of the coldest drops as a DJ. Um, it's Little John, if I'm not John, mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, Alizé. Alizé. And when he says it, I mean, you feel it. You know it's Alizé on the radio. Most of the time, you know it's Alizé on the radio because of the way he spins. He comes with a complete, complete vibe. And you can see this vibe right here. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. first day on set. Come on, Come on let me see. P pick one up, son. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Oh, you need to wipe down? I got you, son. I, mean, you I got you. Here. 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 Come on. All right, let's get that shrimp back up there. And let's actually get this one. Yeah, that looks good right that's, that's the one. It hurts. That's the one. Yo, here we are. Curry shrimp, mango, red onion, a little bit of yogurt, honey. So do we do cheers with the plates? Nah, man, we're gonna cheers with the shrimp. You ready? 
Rub it in some of that sauce. Pause. 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 It's all right, though. We family. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I'm gonna say. Come on. Not too, not too bad. Mm -hmm. More appetizers start us off, get us going. Mm -hmm. I want for another. Yeah. Mmm. I heard. Loud and clear. Mmm. And just for the record, I bought forks. Mm. We got forks. Hell, you need. Who need forks? Mm. We from the island. We from the island. From the island. Shout out to grandma. Grandma. So, a couple people we want to make sure we shout out. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Steve, mm -hmm. Aunt Pat, Grandma Glaze, your mom, your dad. Mama J, Papa J. Come on now, Carolyn mm -hmm. Walt. That's how I know him, you know, mm -hmm. Uncle Walt. Ooh, I'm over here, spill It's all right, spill, baby, throw it in there. It's all good. Take this plate, eat some more, hey. come on. We want to shout out the whole family right now. Yes, if y'all know us, it ain't no secret. I went and got them. Copious amounts, don't move. We making run punch next. Alize ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna ask him a ton of questions. I just pulled up. Mm, we're family, you know what I mean? Starving. Same way you need to pull up. Starving. Copious amounts. Episode four. Not three. Four. Mm. Cuatro. The mango with the shrimp. Incredible. Primos is in the house. Don't move. Coming right back. Welcome back. We feeling pretty good. Food. You know why? Food was incredible. Curry Food shrimp. Food was good. Curry shrimp out here. So I figured... My boy's on a level. Primo's on a level. Let's go up a level. Let's make some rum punch. What you think? I'm with it. You with it? Mm -hmm. All right, so while I um, get this ready, you want to like throw some ice in these glasses? We want them all the way to the top. While, while Zay's doing that, I'm going to get some rum ready. So we usually use a Jamaican rum. Today we're using a white rum. It still flirts of the summertime. So we're going to make it light, crisp, and refreshing. Boom. Pineapple juice. Rum punch. Probably one of the easiest drinks to make. Just don't ask for it from your local bartender. Make sure you're where you're supposed to be. The grill, Montego Bay. You know what I'm saying? You you there. That's when you ask for a rum punch. You probably gotta ask for it. They got it in a gallon. Gug. Jug. That probably was a Gug. milk. Gug. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a milk carton, but now it's full of rum punch. All right, OJ. Boom. So, Zay, why are we doing this, all right? I got a few questions for you. Important questions, DJ questions. Grenadine, due to COVID, you being one of the world's best DJs, how you recovering from it? What are you doing? What I'm doing is making sure I, my mental health is straight. All right. First, and, you know, it's a lot of people that are losing their lives or in the hospitals or, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're dealing with a lot of personal things. Right. So in order for me to even give to people, I gotta make sure I'm right. So I've been making sure, you know what I'm saying? We're doing a lot of writing, uh, you know. Just maybe, you know, it might be a walk, just because I, I walk a lot, but it yeah. might be a walk, at, you know, a certain time of the day. Just when, like when you're feeling, I get a lot of anxiety. Okay. I deal with a lot of anxiety, so I like to, you know what I'm saying? I like, feel like a lot of us is dealing with a lot of anxiety right yeah. now. I think that's just the habit of the times. Um, we'll get back to this rum punch real quick. Saying that, and you know, the opposite of that is being a DJ, a DJ to the caliber of yourself, being, you know, in front of the crowds that you're yeah, see, in front I of. I don't feel anxiety when, when, when I'm in front How does of that crowd. feel? What does that feel like? When I feel at home. Really? Yeah. Home like on your couch at home or like home like uh, your this heart is where God in your heart at home. In your heart at home. Nah, like when you when I'm at the couch it's like you know what I'm saying? You're chilling, but like right. you like in front of people and people come to see you, that's when like you it's like It's beautiful. It's like it's like the stars align. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to this day, I mean, how old are you now? You don't have to say but I'll be forty in October. Forty in October. By the time and nineteen being the youngest DJ on the radio. Yeah, 20, 21 years. Twenty one years plus the you know, you started at twelve. I mean, that life still feels the same. I mean, it's crazy that I'm still it's 
crazy that like hip hop, you know, that we can make this much money off of hip hop. Right. That's what I be trying to preach off to the young, you know what I'm saying, to the young generation is that I'm trying to be in this for the long run. The I long mean, run, right, right, right. I mean, unless you're like somebody who like, you know, you can work a corporate job. Right. Come to rap and go back to corporate. Right. But I mean, you know. If you're going to be in it, in it, make yeah, sure. Be in it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, do it for the right reasons. For sure. For the right reasons. For the culture. Learn. Learn this. Get behind the camera. See what it look like. Get, you know, if you say NPC, don't look at it like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Mess with it. Learn it. You might mess around and make something crazy. You never know. That's, a, that, that's what hip hop is. That's what's beautiful. Yeah. It's like, that's why I like what you're doing right here. You Let's go. Know. You ready? Left hand. Okay. Let's do it. Rum punch. Rum punch. Ready? Yeah. Boom. Just don't knock it out. All right? Yeah. Switch hands. Oh, wow. All right, hold it yeah. like this. Yeah. It's the one love episode. This is the hard part. I'm gonna show you though. All right, so this part, yeah. you see how it's like got that little like incline. Yeah. Just take your palm, yeah. it's Chinese five palm technique, bling, and it comes right out. All right, boom. Man. Look at that, blah. I was a little scared. I wasn't gonna get it. <laughs> you got it. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. So all you gotta do is take this. All the years I've been in the club. I never in the club, did this. we was in the club together. He was on the third floor, spinning the classics. I was on the first floor. We did one night together. Though. We did one night together. Yeah. We had a couple nights together, but one yeah. major night together. But neither here nor there. We together Are right you now. I am left handed. Uh, see this, but this is explaining a lot why. You ready? It's the left hand, yeah. So, now, just see this part? Yeah. That's all you want to do, and just start pouring, oh, baby. Mean? All I want to do. So, pull it oh, right like there. That, yep, that's yep. Boom. Oh. Now, hold it up. Keep bringing it up. Bring it up some more. Oh. A little bit more. All right, now come to my glass. Pause. Ready? Up some oh, more. Right. Up some more. Hey, come on, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, DJ Alize, ladies and gentlemen, hands of Zeus. Boom. We got a little bit more in here. All right. Guess what? Got some straws. What color you want? I want blue. Blue. I'm gonna go with green, for obvious reasons. You know what I mean? Blau. All right. And there we are. All right. We got umbrellas. I'm going. The ladies' color. I'm going. Orange. Orange. Boom. Here we are. All right. So I have to take. No, you took the wrong part off. Get another orange one. See, moving too fast. It's all right. It's all right. So the top of the umbrella, take that, that, that part off right there. Like you about to blow something. Bloom. Like take it yeah. off. Yes. Yes. All right. Now open the umbrella. Nope. Open this part. DJ Alize is here, y'all. Look. <laughs> Sorry. Boom. All right. Now. Yeah. See? Oh, like that. Oh, perfect. You ready? Yeah. Boom. Yeah, that's sad. I never did that before. You want to make it real sexy? Crazy. Let's make it real sexy, all right? Come on. Boom. See, I already put a little umbrella in there just in case somebody want blue. What we do is we're going to take this orange, we're going to cut it right in half, just like that. I'm going to cut it in half again. So, literally two half of oranges, right? This makes like a really fun garnish. And you just cut it at like one third and what happens is that one third of that orange sits there almost like a half moon mm -hmm. and you just put it there oh, wow. just like that yeah. look at that see that yeah. like, a little... like a little like a little half moon yeah. mine's jacked up don't matter though yeah, cheers we're drinking rum rum punch, punch. the one love episode Pretty good. Feel, feel like, like Jamaica? Feel like I'm on a beach. Yeah, it feels, it feels like I'm on a beach too. Man. Man. Don't move. Don't move. We got more questions for Alize. And more food. And more food. We got a whole salmon, like a whole, like a, a, a big salmon. you are looking at. You can't see. And we're gonna do some stuff with this salmon that you can't see it. Yet. You won't believe. Mm. Alize, the hands of God, is in the house. Al Green, copious amounts, episode four. We already had curry shrimp. We got rum punch. 
I'm drinking rum and Red Bull. Hey. Salmon. Some of y'all like to pronounce it salmon. I don't care. It's pink. Yeah. It's soft. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. We gonna roast it in a pizza oven. Mm. How you feel about it? First time I've ever seen it. All right. Let's get busy. This is what we gonna do. Alize, while I'm doing this, I wanna ask you a question. When I, um, when I asked you if you wanted to do this, you told me, yeah, we went back and forth with the menu. I found out two things I didn't know. One, you don't eat meat. Two, you don't eat cheese. Regardless, I get it. The third thing I'll ask you is, on your Instagram, I see you all the time, every morning, and you faithfully making that smoothie. Mm -hmm. To you, how important is the health in our community, and you know why you chose not to eat meat in these things? What, what is it for you that made the well, difference? It's a few things. Uh, first and foremost, when I was, I never even, I don't think I ever told you this, when I was like 13. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you probably wasn't like, Jersey, or Jersey, somewhere away. Yeah. Uh, when I was thirteen. I was like always like heavy set. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was always like considered like chubby or whatever. Gotcha. And I went to. Uh, I had to go to the doctor. I was. I used to have like heel pains. Okay. And the doctor, Doctor, uh, I think it was Doctor Lily. I think he's still. He might be still alive. But he he told me that if I didn't lose weight. By the, if I was going on the pace I was going by the age of 30, that I'd be dead by the age of 30. Really? So that was like, opening, I, like at 13, I remember being like, whoa! Like, in 17 years. Yes! It seemed, I was like, I'm already 13. You're like, on 13? Yeah. You like, ain't even 17 yet. Yes! So, from that point on, I remember like, playing basketball, cutting weight, and just like, start paying attention to stuff, and then, and I got my early 20s, I started working out crazy. Yeah. Got into the gym, super heavy. But then, uh, I kind of got tired of weights and more, so I just wanted to just keep my figure, you know? Right. So, that's when I got into like walking. But then the smoothies started when um, I moved to LA, and LA, LA kind of got, well I wouldn't say LA got me on being vegan, more so than watching, um, it was a documentary that came out. About okay. That, whatever that documentary was. And I watched it and I was already on the fence. I never ate pork. Right. And my dad always raised me like I never ate pork. Never, right. I never really ate beef. I would have like a a, a burger, a, a burger a summer. Right. So that would be like my burger, you know. I never so ate just steak. one time. I never ate steak in my life. I never liked how steak, I never liked how it looked. Okay. So when I, when I moved to LA and then watching the documentary and being in LA where it's like vegan is like you know, they kind of push it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, so right. I just was like, I made the switch. It's been like five years. Five years. Yeah, so. Five years, no meat? Yeah, no meat. Like, I'll do fish. Like, I'm doing fish with you today. For sure. Yeah, um, but like, nah, like, I don't even eat, I don't even eat technically a lot of fish either, so. Well. But like, I always like, I always love me some shrimp and some salmon. Well, you know what? Because of your hard work and you see Alize, he's still here, way past 30, still rocking the tables. And you know what? It should show you that sometimes it's an okay time to indulge when you work hard. When you work hard, I'm not saying necessarily play hard, but when you work hard, you do deserve a little bit of rum punch. You do deserve some salmon, you deserve some shrimp. Um, here I got the salmon while Alize was talking. I've been getting her seasoned and ready to go. I got some fennel on here, uh, put some Old Bay on here some ginger powder, some salt, some pepper, some um, garlic and herb Old Bay. We're gonna take her out of here and lay her right down here on this beautiful Lloyd pan. I'm gonna move this out the way. Before we get the salmon ready to go, the one thing I love about fresh salmon is some lemon. It's the citrus. Um, you grew up Jamaican. Her mom's Jamaican, her father's Jamaican, and her mother Trinidad. Right. And Grandma. the funny part is, what a lot of people don't know, they're they gonna find out now is 
for the most part, in our younger years, we grew up together. Um, from Cherry Hill Apartments in New Carrollton. Well, that's Landover. Well, now it's Landover. Yeah, that was Landover back then. That was Landover then. back yeah, then. Yeah, Landover. Uh, to Good Luck Road in Lanham to Hyattsville, mm -hmm. where we used to always come through the house. Um, the one thing that, you know, I, I remember, and it's funny, is every time we would go to Zay's house, me and my cousin, we would, um, we would, we would show up and you know, we say hi to the family, everything, and we couldn't find you. And so, um, Aunt Carol would be like, oh, just go downstairs, but before you go down there, you know, make sure you flip the lights. We're like, oh, why you flip the lights? And she, oh, he's probably spinning, he's probably practicing. And we're like 13, 14, we want to go throw the football, have a good time, see our cousin, but he was in his state of becoming, you know, legendary DJ. So we would come and we would flip the lights and we would wait at the top of the steps. And she was like, oh no, once you flip the lights, you can go downstairs. So once we learned that, sometimes we just wouldn't flip the lights. I'd run down there and I'd grab the microphone and <laughs> Stevie no, yeah. would sit on the couch just be chilling, yeah. and we'd just be chilling. And you know, those memories will always be so precious to me because- um, The crazy thing is that when you used to hop on the mic- Uh-huh. They don't know. Yeah, but like, no, nah, even for me, I didn't really, I didn't really, I just thought you was just doing it like it was fun. I mean, it was, Cause it was fun, of course it was fun. It was fun. Well, I didn't think that like, you would turn it into what you turned it into. You know, I, I, I then I was just like, oh, that's my cousin, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. You know, I come from the style of MCs where, you know, I, I rewinded the tape. I listened to the lyrics. I wrote them down on my notepad because I wanted to know what they were talking about and I wanted to know the cadences. And you put me onto a lot of records and you put me on the stuff and especially one of my favorites, Heavy D. Like, I remember you telling me about Heavy D and your dad and everybody before anybody knew who Heavy D was. Really? Yeah. And I was just like, wow, like, who is this amazing dude sitting in the room with my smoky jacket on? Yeah. <laughs> the fireplace is burning, my girlie is warm. Like, that's copious amounts right there. Super copious. Super copious amounts. All right, so while we, you know, talking family and love and the One Love episode, some barbecue salmon, some lemon on it, some fennel, some salt, just some freshness. Put the obey on there? I put the obey on there. You wanna What's put some more in there? That? Oh, that's gonna be something, you know, you just hold tight real quick. But you know what? Yeah, sprinkle question. a little obey on top. Just a little bit more on top. He gonna sprinkle some more obey on top of this, and we gonna throw in the oven. When we throw in the oven, we gonna yeah, get man. to our sides. Can't, can't have enough oil. We in PG County, you know, you order an entree, it better come with two sides. Straight so up. we gonna work on our two sides while we throw this in the oven. P Barbecue, Pizzle. salmon, Hyattsville, Lanham, what up, Landover, what up, Blau, Alize is here, salmon going in the oven, barbecue, turn it around, you know what I'm saying? Only person that's jealous is Edward Scissorhands, you know what I'm saying? Cause he can't have the hands of God standing next to me. Yo, we going in the oven, let's go. Right back there, we're gonna turn our fire up high. It's All right, back there, y'all. It's Kelvin. It's so hot, it make your, it make your, your eyelashes sizzle. I think, I feel like this is, look at it. It's, don't know what to do. It's all right. So while we doing that, I know, like I said, I some eyelashes. you don't eat cheese, right? No, no, no. No cheese. So I got some cavatelli pasta. The beautiful thing about this pasta, I'll let you taste a piece, is you see the grains in it? So those grains, mm. basically, they it's hold. Already. They, yeah, well, you know, we you little, like, little, little salt. Little, put a little pepper on it. Little pepper, mm. little seasoning. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these, little cavatelli pastas, like they got grains in them, you know what I'm saying? Grains in them. And whatever that grain is, when you put the sauce to it, it sticks to it. Really? So it's like a hug. It's really? like it's like arms open, sauce, hug, and it hugs all the flavor inside those grains. Mm. So, so good. So, so good. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, Gadget. My chef told me to use this goddamn pan, so I'm using this pan, all right? So, so now we got this pasta. So I got some saffron threads, all right? And I soaked them in the pasta water. 
So what we'll do is we'll add some of this to this. Oh man, you got a lot of that. All right. Whatever that is. Super, super good. All right, so this is what I'll, I'll, my name. This is what I'll tell you, all right? So when you want mac and cheese, but you don't have cheese like you do, you actually kind of play a mind game on yourself. You make it look just like mac and cheese. That way, when you get to taste it, your mind is saying, telling you one thing, the saffron is telling you another, and I just took these saffron threads and soaked them in the pasta water. Mm -hmm. So what you do is just take a little bit of that, rub your finger across it, and just go ahead. In the bliss, like a, just, it's like being like in like a uh, Jamaican bliss. Hold on, wait, so it's yeah. the scotch bonnet pepper in a smoothie. So hold. <laughs> contain coconut water. Uh, I do like vegetable juice. Okay. Celery, okay. carrot, lettuce, or like spinach, kale. Okay. Uh, and see, for me, I always like fruity smoothies, but I add the kicker. My kicker is either jalapeno or scotch bonnet. But I do like a, it's like that much of a small, you know what I'm saying? Just enough for it to be like, oh, it just remind you uh, that you Jamaican. That you what, are, <laughs> what, do you, what do you use for the base? So my base will be like the uh, liquid? Like, yeah. Coconut water, sometimes cherry juice in the coconut water, sometimes um, like vegetable juice, low sodium, you know what I'm saying? Vegetable juice? Yeah, not like V8. Like vegetable juice from like Trader Joe's. Oh, really? It's like low sodium. Like, not a lot of salt, you know what I mean? And then, when I put all that in there, I top it off with frozen mango, frozen pineapple, frozen peaches. Turmeric, cayenne pepper, honey, we out of here. We out of here. Honey, we out of here. Yes, out of here. Straight. So I asked him about his recipes for the smoothie, and now I get it. Oh, kiwis too. G heavy ginger. Heavy ginger, Ooh. kiwis, scotch bonnet. Yes. It's the One Love episode. Listen, don't put a lot of scotch bonnet. Don't put a lot of jalapeno. You know what I'm saying? Just cut off a thing, just enough where you just get that kick. When you drink, you're like, whoa! It's fruity, but it got that. I was telling them before, that kick is actually good for you. Yes! That spiciness, yes. it wakes you up. Yes! You, you know, you, you drink yes. something every day and you're like, oh, whatever. But as soon as you get something that makes your body react different. Yes! That's the... And it's health benefits from it, too. You just gotta do it in moderation. Moderation. All right, so we got the pasta here. I got some zucchini in there, all right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make this real, real crazy today. today. For you, I don't want to hold back. I got some big dog pit bull yams. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, big boys. Oh, right. I cut them down the middle. I do. And what I want to do is take these and put them and then? right in a plate, just like this. No, they're already done. They're, they're beautiful, yeah. bright. Smoking. They took a while to bake. All I did was put the oven on 325 and literally let them sit in there for hmm, about an hour and a half. You ready? Game time, baby. Here we go. Pepper? Yes, pepper. But before we do that pepper, make sure. What's that? What's that? It's our honey. Actually, this is our agave nectar. So we put a little bit of agave nectar Whoa. right on there, just like that. Whoa, you just hit it with the Phil Jackson. That's like the zen. All right. And then with that, every, every potato needs a little bit of salt. So we put some salt on there just like that, all right? What kind of salt? Uh, this sea salt, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Salt. Fresh coarse sea salt, come on now. All right, boom, pepper, hit it up. Pepper. Ooh, baby. There we go. How do you like yours, you like yours pepper? I mean, come on now, you the chef. I like mine, how you gonna do it, boss? How about the salmon on? Oh. Oh, man. 
All right, we're going to let her rest, OK? Alizé's in the house putting pepper and salt on this beautiful sweet potato. Are right, you ready? BP, baked potato. <laughs> you ready? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this. We're gonna take these zucchini, yeah. little crunches. And we're gonna put them in there. All right. All right. There's probably a little spoon next to you somewhere right here. Yeah, there you go. Boom, right there. Actually, you know what? That spoon in here. Come on now, forget about it. All right, boom, just slide those on in there. There you go. Boom. Boom. I got you. This shit is hot. Shit is hot, Zay. All right, boom, blow, thank you. All right, here we go. All right. All right, there you go. Zay's mixing this around. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see how beautiful that is? Man. Look at that. All right, now what are we gonna do? While you doing that, keep keep moving it. Yeah, Come on, hit it. Boom. Hit right. it. Hit it. Go yeah. On. Don't need no more salt. We put uh, salt in the pasta water. We also took that pasta water and put it in here with the saffron threads, and that's why we got that beautiful color right there. More pepper, more and pepper. so more pepper. All right, boom. Yeah. So if I told you this was mac and cheese, you'd be like, oh man, like this is a beautiful mac and cheese, but it's not so cheesy. It's not mac and cheese. Saffron, nice, zucchini, nice, salt, pepper. With the salmon. Oh, nice. all right, you ready? Yeah. Now we're gonna get, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna do and then you go after me, all right, you ready? Boom, I'm gonna just take this and boom, right on top, just really? like that. Yes. I didn't see that coming. All right, watch this. I didn't see that coming. That watch. Was like a three pointer. Watch this. From, all right. From the NBA sign. All right, now. All right, boom. On the top of that one, go for it. Mm. You hold this tape for me. This, this oh Jesus, so, so easy. Zay, this is about to be so good. I don't know. I ain't never had this in my life. You look like a natural right now. Listen. You making a plate like you making it for yourself. No. All right, that's good. Right, this ain't for myself. This is for you. That? Yo, what is it? That looks, I mean, when I look at my plate and I look at his plate, I kind of want his plate a little bit more. This is what we do. We're going to clean you up right here. And we're going to leave it just like that. All right. I like mine dirty. It's the One Love episode. <laughs> the Dirty Wine episode. I don't know what to call it. All right, you ready? I can't wait let's to get, eat. Let, let's get our baby out here. I can't wait to eat. Let's get our baby out here. She's been resting over here. Oh, Jesus, Zay. Is it still hot? Is it still hot? I won't touch it with bare hands. Barbecue salmon. Right here. Oh, that's the skin. I know, I like chips. Fall apart in your hand. Boom. All right, you ready? One of those little spatulas over there, you pass me one? So. Come, nice crunch. Just like that, all right? What we'll do, we'll slide under there and I'll take a piece. But this is copious amounts and Alizé is in the building. I ain't fronting right now. Right, Let's right. give Alizé a copious okay. amounts plate because, look, this is Alizé's right here. You see, you see, you see this? Come on. Son, son, hold that right there. Let me bless you. All right? Boom. All right. Oh, look at that. All right, we're not done. Go ahead and sit her down. I'm gonna take we're not done. We're not done. Some of these chives. All right? We're not done. Some of these chives. I had a knife somewhere. Here we go. And we're just going to cut a few. Soda. Just like that. You shoot the basketball right-handed? Yeah. So this is that's why you I'm, I'm messing you up, right? Yeah. You're like LeBron. LeBron's like that. Hey look. This salmon's like LeBron. No, this is definitely mine. 
My meal is definitely the LeBron of copious amount. This is, this is the most copious amount shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Olive oil right on top. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Jesus. All right, look. Salt bay that shit. Come on, let's go. Ready? Ready? Boom. Up top. Up top. Blau. Blau. I bought us some forks. Now, the whole point of this is, you know how people say they don't like their food to touch and stuff like that. We got our barbecue salmon on top. We got our saffron pasta underneath. Savoriness, sweetness in the barbecue with the delicate citrus in the fruit. Lemon's already on top, we don't need to squeeze. At the bottom, we got that nice sweet, honey. sweet potato with the honey. honey. So what we do is we go on from the side right here, all right? And we get some of that pasta and some of that sweet potato right there. And we just make sure we got a nice, big, wholesome oh. bite. I mean, you see that? It's smoking. I don't know how you just did that. Hey man, you know what? You just did it. It's smoking, you ready? Uh -huh. Oh, my bad, yeah. Bro, and this, if you get some whole wheat pasta, you do the same thing with your sweet potato, your omega threes, your pasta, you get your carbs. Come on, come on. I'm eating off the board. I'm so happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, Yo, those noodles to die. Not only my cousin, not only my family, but a respected one who deserves his roses. When you see him, you make sure you salute him. DJ Alize, I'm Al Green. This is Copious Amounts, episode four. I couldn't have had a better person here with me. We love y'all. Don't move. DJAlize.com, at DJ Alize, anywhere. Find them, check them out, leave a like, support the brother, support copious we amounts. We done? No more no, food? I think that's it. Man, I thought you were gonna make, I thought you had something else in the back. I was gonna make some beef patties, but you don't eat beef. You got some veggie patties? No veggie patties. Next episode. Oh. Season two. Man. We'll bring them back. Veggie patties in the in the, in that? Yeah. You feel me? Copious amounts. See you later. Peace.